Can two geeky dads be transformed into rap stars with real street credit? Is this actually possible? We're about to find out. Welcome to Pimp My Pops. I'm Paul Wagner, your host. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a show where teenagers submit their dorky dads, and we put them through a rap master makeover so they can record their very own rap single. Wisdom before youth. Youth is so pitiful. I got something to say. Hill Pro, this just in. I'm playing for keeps, and I'm playing to win. OK. Today, you're going to meet two of the dorkiest dads on the planet who are going to be competing for the best rap tune that they're going to write and record right here at Doggy Style Productions, home of L.T. Hutton and Snoop Dogg. Yes. Your job is to vote online and vote via text messaging. So by the end of the show, we have chosen the best rapper dad. I think it's about time we met our dorky rapper dad. Take a look. All right. We're at the home of the Rosser family where little Gaither Jr. submitted his dad, Gaither Sr., to be on Pimp My Pops. Do you think you can rap? I'm the shizzle. Oh. All right, now we're going to get Gaither, a.k.a. the realtor, out of his office and into the recording studio. Gaither Jr., what do you think your dad? Sometimes he can be really stupid because he plays old, old ass music. Well, I play some old time rock and roll, play some folk music. Pretty much started with Jim Croce, James Taylor. Transition to rap, not an issue. Just not an issue. I don't know about the whole rap thing. That's that's uh, that's kind of over his head, I think. He was the first man that ever shook my hand. Took me for a walk on the beach, and then he brought me back to the belly up, and he said goodnight, and he shook my hand. There was no dry humping or anything? Nothing. What do you have to say about him that's, like, as a person? Anything good you want to share about him? Um. What about his back hair? Very little of it, thank God. Yeah, you're not a back hair I'm fan. not a back hair fan, no. And you don't have any back hair. Would you like, want to see? There's no back hair. There's no back no, hair. You're like uh -uh. Sharp back hair. Your mom's hot, by the way. Thanks. He's finding his sensitive side these last couple of years. I wonder the people of this world become one. I am the white rapper uh, come to fruition, if you will. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable that I'm going to be able to pull this off and be the best rapper there is. Well, it looks like we have a competition. Meet Chris and his dad, John. Chris submitted his dad, John, AKA the caterer, to our contest in hopes we can take him out of the kitchen and into rap music stardom. Is he ready? After 25 years in the kitchen, I can really take the heat and I am ready for this competition. But John wasn't always a cook. John actually got involved with cooking a long way, I don't know how to say, roundabout way. I was a venereal disease investigator at the Fulton County Health Department in Atlanta, Georgia. Chris says that when his dad tries to be cool, it just gets strange. Hottest bars are gay bars. That's my experience. That's the place to go, man. They are just so hot. I haven't been to a gay bar in a long time, but I'm assuming that's the same now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect contest for John. Perfect. I think I heard something that uh, total dorks were needed or something like that, and I told him that would be perfect for him. Go, 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 go. This is just like from the movie Hercules, the cre when he fights the Cretan bull. I think he thinks I'm dorkier than he is. But he's not dorky, so no. Your, your son is cool. He's got a nice vibe. He's, hey, a, nice, he's a nice he, kid. You know what? Me and him together, him in the bathing suit, and me with the rap, Gaither's toast. Him in the bathing suit? Yeah. You're going to put your son on a G-string? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gaither, you're a great-looking guy, man. You got me beat on look every which way. But the idea of you out rapping me is laughable. I mean, if it's a bathing suit contest, which we're not doing, he's got it, you know? But we're not in a bathing suit contest. We're in a rapping contest. Obviously, this guy's got it out for Gaither, but can Gaither handle it? Can you handle it, Gaither? See, boy. I've heard about John as a caterer. I uh, understand that, uh, you know, he's got some, some words that he's working on. 50-year-old game got me on top. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have the edge over him uh, just because I've played some music. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Your coaching went a long way. I want you to give it some energy this time. What do you think of his lyrics? 
Yo, I'm hitting the streets in my 745. I got a certain class I just can't hide. I got rings on my fingers, shine on my shoes, cream in the bank. Yeah, I paid my dues. I think it worked out pretty well. He's got really good energy. He was a little bit nervous, but uh, he seemed to get better and better with every take. John was not quite as prepared. I feel like I got to break out some power tools or something on this guy to really prod him into shape. Maybe some vice grips, pliers, and maybe a huge pipe wrench. Been there, done that two, no, maybe three times through with no fame. And no, thing. <clears throat> I'm up for the challenge. Uh, I'm the rapper. I'm the cool rapper. As you can see, I've got the makeup for the rapper. <laughs> I'm ready to go in the rap studio, and I'm going to really bust a move on it. <laughs> Look at this pretty truck. <laughs> Folks, it's your job right now to text into the show. We just heard our two rapper dads spit their very first rap. We gotta find out which one you think is better. You'll see the pictures just to the right and left of me, and beneath those pictures are the numbers you can text to right now. Select your favorite. Which one of these guys is the best? I got rings on my fingers, a shine on my shoes, cream in the bank, yeah, I paid my dues. I'm like wine, age to perfection, a taste of distinction. If you select the actual winner of the show right now, you get a chance to win a brand new Toyota FJ Cruiser. This thing is just amazing. It is tricked out top to bottom. All right, gang, it's your job right now. Text into the show, and we're headed right back to the competition. Hey, we've done our best with these guys so far. John Bologna stays cocked and loaded. I'm hitting the streets in my 745. I got a certain cool class, but just can't hide. We're doing everything we can to make these guys look and sound like rappers, but let's face it, we need a high-level producer on board. It's time to meet LT Hutton, rap producer extraordinaire. Let's see if he can really take these guys to the next level. You know what? I'll bet he can. Check this out. Here at the program studios, home of LT Hutton and Doggy Style Productions. This is where all Snoop Dogg stuff is made. Check out all these killer albums on the wall. These people have had huge success. We are lucky to be here. Back in the studio, LT Hutton goes to work, laying down the first tracks of the music bed to be used by our two rapper dads. is on time and as usual dressed like a gigolo but John's nowhere to be found he's a couple hours late and at this point we're really worried he's not gonna show up John John did we mention that Judy hates rap hates rap music hates that your dad is doing this doesn't understand black people and thinks the entire culture should be sucked back into the vortex at the center of the planet I don't really care for the rapping and the culture that goes with it and uh, it's too harsh. You know what your mom is saying is that we should have more show tunes um, as opposed to rap. I don't really agree with her on a lot of stuff. Your mom, I think, is a little pissed off. I don't know what's to enjoy. Who can sit and relax to that? Just my mom just getting mad basically about this, like camera crew being here, people coming in, yeah. She doesn't like it. We were beginning to sense that Judy wasn't too happy with our little show, but we never thought she'd try to make John forfeit the contest at Gaither. I'm sorry. I got the whole thing happening. I spent time. Mine's already memorized. Mm. I want my family to come on vacation and see my family. Paul tried to lend an encouraging ear. It's not our problem if, if you're doing catering and, and hanging out getting yelled at by your wife all day, bro. Get your ass in the car, be a man, and let's do this right, OK? Okay, great. It's on his way. You know, I think John came here thinking maybe he was here recording for like, you know, some little album at the YMCA or something. Anybody who does music on the West Coast, anybody that does hip hop on the West Coast comes through these doors and talk to Snoop because if you don't get stamped by Snoop Dogg, you ain't gonna make it, you ain't gonna swim. So, I mean, if, you, if you're doing anything big at all, you gotta talk to LT and Snoop, man, because they're, they're the shit right now on the West Coast. It won't make any difference. I, it's, I'm almost guaranteed it's not gonna work out without, without me knowing how it needed. goes with the music. No, I know, but I didn't know if you need to go to the weekend. While the guys got set up in the studio, we spoke with LT. All right, we are here with LT Hutton, super producer. LT, thanks for letting us in your studio. Thanks for having me. Tell me, what do these rappers need to know 
about rap? I, I really want the world to see that uh, it's not as easy as they think, you know what I mean? Rapping is, is pretty hard. Number one thing is when you say, okay, I want to rap, first thing you have to do is say, okay, what am I going to rap about? Because rap is not just putting some words together and throwing them up against the track. You have to say, okay, what moves me? Rapping is, is pretty hard, you know what I mean? You have to be a wordsmith. Let's, let's, let's hear the rhyme you got. Hit my streets in my 745, I got a certain class I just can't hide. Yeah, I'm living this life and it ain't no sin. I get what I want because I play to win. Uh -huh. <laughs> the only thing I would say with, with yours is I would lay back just a little bit. Because you got, you, you got natural timing. So you say, I'm hitting the street. Instead of I'm hitting the streets, just I'm hitting the streets. Da -da -da -da. Just make it a little bit more smoother because you're a cooler guy. Hey, yo, trip. The reason why I decided to take the, this, this situation is because it proves that America is a melting pot. America is one of the greatest countries in the world. And showing white people <laughs> of, the, of, of this nature trying to rap just shows you how far we've come and how we've bridged the gap and quote unquote, you know, for lack of a better term, crossed over and merged our culture with mainstream America. There's a lot of closet wannabe white rappers. It's, it's in their soul, it, the, the music is there. Nice to meet you too, though. Thank you. Is your name John? Yeah. What made you start like a rap? Uh, my son. My son, my kid like rap, and I uh, have been listening to it for many years, and they also explain it to me, you know, because it's hard for somebody like me to really understand what's going on in there. But uh, I like it. I think it's a great, uh, great form of poetry and music. See, we respect the crowd. <laughs> Say the whole first John Bologna stays cocked and loaded. Okay, right there. John Bologna stays cocked and loaded. To this? Yeah. John Bologna stays cocked and loaded. Is that what you want? Uh, yeah. Okay. I tried to do that. I'm doing the whole thing. John Bologna stays cocked and loaded. It says count the gold of mountains to molehills. I'm probably gonna lose it right there. Yeah. It's kind of tough for me. Yeah. Don't call me up because I won't pick up unless I know I'm getting. It's just fucked up. John, very difficult time today. Came in here, tried to do something good, but he's like a, 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 a slid. While they're boiling up, take, take a sip. Take, Oh, it's the end of the song. He was not as prepared. He's got some major work to do. He's kind of like frumpy underdog guy without the cape. Didn't cut the mustard. Needs to get back to work. Work hard if he's going to beat Gaither. Hey, yo, Trip. I'm hitting the streets in my 745. I got a certain cool class, I just can't hide. I think Gaither is really strong. I think anything Gaither sets his mind to, he hits it right out of the park. And today, he hit it out of the park. Gaither rocked the studio today. Every take was strong. Everything he did was dead on, fully impassioned. You ain't stopping me. I got a plan. Sure. Big, dorky, white guy. Godzilla in, like, you know, tiny man clothes. But I got to tell you, the guy nailed it. I don't think John was fully here today. I wish this was Jose Cuervo, Reserva de la Philly. Instead, I've got Bombay Sapphire. Maybe it's because his wife beats him. I don't know. She doesn't like rap. She doesn't like me. Whatever. It's none of my business. But the point is, John, I think, needs to really focus on this for the next couple of days before the final recording if he's going to take on Gaither, because Gaither is a tough guy to beat. There you have it. That's my two cents. I need a taco. You just watched our two rapper dads work with L.T. Hutton. Who do you think is better so far? Gaither? I'm living this life, and it ain't no sin. I'm playing for keep, and I'm playing to win. Or John. John Ballone stays cocked and loaded. It says count the gold up. Text into the show right now, and you can win a brand new 2007 FJ Cruiser. Hey, when we come back, we're hooking these guys up with some style and bling. Let's go. I'm taking you out. We're also going to let them record their final rap. Mounds of cold up here. You're like a f***ing zombie. <laughs> and we're going to choose a winner. So stay right here with Pimp My Pops. Hey, 
folks, welcome back. These guys have recorded some nice rap songs. They're doing a great job, but let's face it, they don't look like rappers right now. We've got to hook them up with decent hip-hop fashion. We're going to check in with Candy, lifestylist for the stars. She is a happening woman. She is beautiful, and she's going to hook you up. I tried to get Gaither some time to do some shopping on his own, but it didn't work out as we expected. He had a lot of interesting ideas. So we agreed that we're ready to shake the Gilligan Island look. We're ready. Okay. That's when Candy put Gaither through her fashion boot camp. And when she was done, I handed him over to the fabulous Bling King 10. 10, take it. Thanks, Candy. Let me show you what Bling's all about. Look at this stuff shine. It just showcases exactly who you are. Now for Gaither, I see him as a big guy who needs this key, because, you know, it seems like he'd like the key to life. Go ahead, man. Hey, man, I'm throwing down. We're going to battle. Let's go, let's go. I'm taking you out. Well, I, I think I look good now. Tell me about the jacket you got on. What is this? Oh, this is a MC Hammer tour jacket. It's a from 1990. It's from the uh, You Can't Touch This tour. Sure, the MC Hammer You Can't Touch This yeah. tour. Yeah. Which, which is very relevant today. And wears his hammer jacket everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I dig MC Hammer. We have so many places to visit on Melrose. We did stop in and say hey to our buddy Christian Odege, but there was still something missing. So off we went to tour the nearby shops and stores. Mole hills to mountains, the mountains are cold. Up here, all alone, sitting on my, no, lost it again. I gotta get ready for it and practice a little bit. Well, at least Candy hooked John up with some nice clothes. Now that he's tried on every style in town, John is actually ready for the street. What's up, man? Hey, do I look good? Yes, you do. It's Tell good. me what you're working with. John Bologna Bye. says cocked and load. It said count the gold up. Mole hills to mountains, the mountains are cold. Up here all alone to the year old game. Yeah. Got my own. So stiff. <laughs> you're like a fing zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. I'm trying to help you, man. Oh, this old oh. I need help. I'm your angel. Loosen up. <laughs> Loosen up your body language. Your body language, man. You know, I am stiff. You got to act like they don't even exist. Feel it from here. Mole hills to mountains, the mountains are cold. Up here all alone, 50 year old. Here at LT's recording studio, it's time to take these guys into their final rap, fully dressed up, fully pimped out, right here in Pimp My Pops. Let's see how these guys do. Real estate agent turned rapper. He got the swagger. He been walking around here. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at this Steve, man. Look, he, he grabbing his shit and everything. <laughs> look at him, he throwing up gang signs. Gaither has worked really hard, taking himself to the next level, all thanks to LT Hutton. And John is struggling to really make this a competition. Chris fully supports his dad. He's there coaching his dad. They're working one-on-one -on -one together. It's really cool. They're doing a great job supporting each other. And Gaither Jr., he's been standing by his dad, and that's key. Gaither wins the toss, and he's going to be the one that takes the mic first. Yeah. There's a crib in the hills and two on the beach. There ain't no room to stay out of my dreams. You see, I get what I want, I get what I need. When a target's inside, I ain't afraid to bleed. I gets down to business when the business gets down. Get in my way, you just won't be found. There ain't no sin. Sorry about that. Just settle down, you got it. You got a long time. Take your time, enunciate, get those words out, you know what I mean? There we go. You doing it, it's tight though. Living this life and it ain't no sin. Life's no secret, just play to win. Back in. You gotta do it one more time. Wow. Just just match what you did last time. Here in the streets in my 745, I got a certain cool class, but just can't hide. I got rings on my fingers, shine on my shoes, cream of the bank. Yeah, I paid my dues. I got the three. Millionaire. Try for me. Millionaire. There you go, flavor like that. Let's go to that. I bet it ain't no sin. Life's no secret, just play to win. So gather around people and hip stomp your feet. It's time you start marching to a different beat. Shake your back, good, put your hands in the air. Soon you're gonna be a billionaire. You see where it's going? <laughs> Work your plan. Soon you're gonna be like Superman. There ain't no stopping you, there ain't no sin. Life's no secret, just play your chance. Life can be yep. hot. Just play to win. That's cool. That's a real record. Got it. 
You know what I'm saying? Start off as a joke, but that actually turned into a, 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 a decent record. You fuck around going iTunes. <laughs> Up next, rapper dad John weighs in and takes the mic. Stay with us. We'll be back in a minute. All right, in our Pimp My Pops competition, Gaither just spit his final rap and got the stamp of approval from LT. Sounds good. There ain't no thing, stay young. While our first contestants are off celebrating, John steps up to the mic. We ready? John Malone stays cocked and loaded. It says, count the gold of I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, just relax, man. You know, feel free to take a couple seconds. Do you want the paper in front of you, though? No. No guideline? I can I can do it without the paper. Uh oh, hardcore. <laughs> don't worry about uh oh, if you know the cameras and the microphones though. You gotta act like they don't even exist. And I'm your angel. Loosen up. Go get him, go get him back. You need to feel it from here. John Malone is his cocked and loaded. It says count the gold up. Long hill to mountain, the mountains are cold. Up here all alone, 50 year old game. Got me on top in my throat. I'm like wine, aged to perfection. Taste of distinction. Point is to prove that I've been there, done that too. No, maybe three times through. No change. The only thing that I think I say. Now I'm on my way up to a million the bank. When you're talking about your will, the power. We can't believe what's going on in there. LT is freaking out. He's loving it. Out of nowhere, John is now a contender. Some way, been a boy, been a man, been playing one game, never called out a name, but my own for the fame. He went so from much. zero to 60 <laughs> in about 20 minutes. It took him this long into the show to really show up, I and it's looking like we have a major quick, competition. Why don't you come in real quick? So if you got somebody that can say the chorus for you to make your song better, then I would suggest, as a producer, do it. John is in there working some things out with LT. It looks like his son, Adam, who helped him write the rap, is now going to jump in and do some recording with him and do the hook, as they call it. I've seen it all change, seen it all stay the same some way. Been a boy, been a man, been playing one game. Never called out a name, but my hey, own a competition the now, Jack. So it's a real so competition. Pain. Made so much pleasure from so much pain. Our buddy John has escalated this to a whole new level. This is now a serious competition. Your job is to give us your final vote. Here it comes, your final voting screen. journey man creatively with you and and uh, we're all blown away this was just remarkable what you did with both of these guys and what just happened what do you think I think we um, accomplished what we we're trying to do you know it's like I think everybody that participated in this whole project has a bigger respect for rap yeah. the culture and just everything that it actually is it's actually a way of life and it's an art form and, it, and it's a, a form of poetry spoken over music I think the guys did excellent jobs. We'll let the uh, the viewers decide which guy they like best, but uh, LT Hutton, you knocked it out of the park here at the program. Thank you Always, very much baby. for everything, man. Always. Really feeling it, and uh, we just appreciate it big time. That's what it do. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up for Pimp My Pops. You did a great job voting. We selected the best rapper in the show. Uh, I'm a man, Jay Malonis, uh, a.k.a. Uh, the Caterer. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. John Malonis stays cocked and loaded. Now, if you want to get your dad on the show, all you got to do is go to pitmypops.com, send us an email with a picture and a video, and you might find yourself in a recording studio just like this one with LT Hutton and Snoop Dogg here at the program. This is the coolest place. I hope you can join us. So submit online, and you know what? Folks, we're going to see you next week. I'm Paul Wagner saying thanks for joining us on Pit My Pops.
fall too far from the age old push. My point is to prove that I've been there, done that too. Maybe three times through with no fame. The only thing that I changed, I say. Now I'm on my way up to a mill in the bank. When you're talking about the will, the power, you're talking about me, man, killing for the dollar. Seen it all change, seen it all stay the same some way. Been a boy, been a man, been playing one game. Never called out a name but my own for the fame. Made so much pleasure from so much pain. Made so much pleasure from so much pain. Made so much pleasure from so much pain. I'm dipping back into my kitchen to get you your favorite mixture, the elixir. I fixed her right, switched on the pilot light, and got down to business. Picture the boss at work over a pot just sniffing what I'm cooking.